So I was on Facebook today when I saw this post on one of our women's empowerment like social groups here in Atlanta. She was kind of reaching out from a place of vulnerability saying that she recently went through a breakup where she didn't get much closer and just found out her ex is already engaged. And I love that when she reached out, she wasn't looking for anyone to console her. She was looking for guidance on how to empower herself. And I love that. Uh, I went through a similar breakup where I was left with a ton of questions and no answers, but I used that pain to empower me. So here's but I'm going to preface this by saying I'm absolutely not here to shit talk my ex. Um, I actually have zero feelings for him. Uh, I'm Being indifferent is probably the best place to be in in this situation. But I'm so thankful for the breakup. So to start off, congratulations. I'm so excited that you've gotten rid of the most negative person in your life or the person that truly doesn't see the value that you bring to them. This is the most exciting time in your life because you are going to invest all of your energy and money and time into you. So get excited because you are going to use pain to empower you. You're about to dedicate all of your time into that passion or find your passion. So you're going to do this by going on an adventure every single week. Commit to it because it's going to be your daily or your weekly commitment to growing yourself. The best thing you'll learn from doing that is... Your soulmate does not have to be your romantic partner. I found that it could be a best friend, it could be a random stranger, or it could be that passion. So get lost in it, fully immerse yourself in it. I think fitness is an amazing passion to pursue because it's something that truly empowers you from within. You find that you can transform yourself if you just put the work, discipline, and structure, and then you can take what you learn from that and implement that anywhere. Two. Travel by yourself. I know this sounds scary at first, but it is the best decision you'll ever make because you get to be on your own schedule, do whatever you want, travel wherever you want, nap whenever you want, the most important fact. What that does is it tests your vulnerability. It tests your ability to really truly be yourself in a place where no one knows you, where you can be anything you want to be. Uh, and you can always find a home wherever your passion is. For me, it was any gym that I traveled to. Three, live without expectations. I think we end up doing nice things for other people because we want some sort of gratitude in re uh, return. But when we get too caught up in the us, we forget about the most important part, which is you, doing things you love because you want. So when you're doing an activity, going on an adventure, don't expect any kind of outcomes. Just let it be, let the universe handle it, be in the now. Four, you have to be selfish before you're selfless. And I think this goes hand in hand with what I just said before, where you just have to do things you love for yourself first so you have that confidence so that when you're doing things for other people, it's totally selfless. I think the biggest lesson I learned is in a relationship, you shouldn't find someone that completes you. I think you should find someone that's their own whole and then you're your own whole. You have your own goals, but you support each other in your growth. But at the end of the day, you've got to take care of your own shit. Five, don't cheapen your experiences with cheap people. So as women, I feel like we all have this fear of being alone or being single and that's sad because think about this feeling right now you have where this person hasn't texted you back or invested time in you or willing to even invest the time to answer your questions. Is there really any more feeling of being lonely than that right there? No. And that, here's what you have to remember. When you find that passion and find good people, you're never going to really feel alone. Even if it's you, you're going to... I literally think I'm the funnest person in the whole wide world. I love my alone time and I date myself every single week. It is my top priority, whether I'm dating someone or not. Um, invest in yourself and make time for yourself and love yourself. And lastly, don't sulk in the comfort of pain. Uh, I think we all do this. We'll go back through old pictures or stalk this person's Facebook or Instagrams, whatever, because we know it hurts and for some reason we like it. Stop that shit. Your time is way better invested into something that's actually going to help you or make you laugh. Uh, what I tend to do when I find myself doing something like that is I start a whole new activity that consumes all of my energy. And that's when my best part. And lastly, download the audiobook, You Are a Badass. Listen to it on repeat. Get it through in your head and do something big with your life. Hope this helps you guys. I know I'm in the best place in my life right now and I'm off to a date right now. So I'll see you guys later. And for anyone that ever gets through all these videos, thank you so much for investing your time in this. I've already gotten about 20 DMs. I'm so excited to read uh, and respond back to about your stories. So definitely share them with me. Um, I also posted the written out version on Snapchat.